What's up guys, my name is Bill. We are coming from White Marsh Revolutionary Cycles here in Philadelphia. You can schedule a test ride for an Onyx motorbike, RCR, on our website, therevolutionwillbemotorized.com here in Philly. You can book a test ride in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware at rideelectrified.com. And you can find uh, all the inventory that we're talking about today available on whitemarshrevolutionarycycles.com. So very quickly, just want to give you a little background. This bike is the most recent version, 2022, less than uh, two weeks or so old, 137.6 miles on there. We are in the middle of a 32 mile ride, going to continue to see how far we can push the range. We are burning the oil here as we wanted to get this content out. So. The reason we're filming this here, we are testing the overall performance of this bike and comparing it to the Huck Stinger 3000 that we received last year around this time and did some testing, um, some training and testing of that bike over a thousand miles. As a dealer for a period of time, we are all Onyx exclusive today. We focus on this platform above and beyond everything else because we believe this bike will do what the iPhone did to cell phones, smartphones, when it came out. It kind of resembles that back of the first iPhone, and it's relevant for this discussion. So the engineering and the talent at Onyx far exceed our expectations as a dealer and distributor of this product. The build quality, number one reason or number, you know, one thing that we've noticed is different is the build quality of this bike compared to the Stingers we took hold of last year. Just everything is tight. Everything from the factory doesn't uh, move. They have um, figured out the recipe for building these bikes safely, effectively, and without any user maintenance over at least just our first 130 miles no no worries about parts at speed or anything like that so the f feeling of the huck was that we had to monitor it pretty frequently to keep it optimal and um, just overall build quality does not seem to be the same level uh, or even close in our opinion so that's the first thing is the build quality of the onyx rcr out of the box literally out of the box, came in a bike box, put the front wheel, put the front, uh, had to put the handlebars on and put the pedals on and you're good to go. Really, really well made, well engineered machine. So the brakes on the Onyx have massive rotor, hydraulic disc brakes in the front, very high powered motorcycle style. And in the rear, you have a cable actuated hydraulic disc brake it also engages regen which when the brake lever is grabbed you'll see your voltage increase so braking on this bike is superior because it stops on a dime on the huck it felt kind of like stopping a boat and there was a lot of rattle between the headset and the braking mechanism in the front all at, you know the pressure of um stopping power on the front end was just not the same. Uh, I think the reason is there is no or was no brace on for the hydraulic caliper to mount properly. So it just didn't have the same stopping power as this bike. So these brakes are far superior. The other thing about the Huck brakes that were a little different were these are bolted on. Whereas on the Huck, they slid the caliper onto a like a post and then it was tensioned with uh, zip tie and like guiding the motor wire together. So, you know, it really didn't have any issue with being in place. It was more um, maybe the weight of the machine coupled with the size rotor with lack of um, precise uh, alignment to the disc. So yeah, so brakes are far superior here. The other thing is, um, number three so build quality first brakes number two the wheelbase of this bike coupled with the power of it it must have been in the engineering 
component that engineering uh, part of building this bike is that the power situated with your geometry and the battery when it is at speed really puts the rider into a great sport tuck type position and what that means is that you're one with the bike it feels that's how it feels and that um acceleration is just far superior far different and far more fun it really is like a roller coaster ride than the huck stinger the huck stinger felt like getting up to speed was it is capable i think it might even have a, a higher end top speed by a few miles per hour however getting up to there you felt a lot of rattle and things just did not feel the same when you accelerated it was uh really low and long acceleration that we felt um, probably because of the weight and the length of the bike so leading into number four because of this wheelbase it makes the bike much more compact so the handlebar width is tighter there's no extruding parts except the pedals and the kickstand the blinkers that are on most of the other generations of stuff did kind of come out um, both the indicators on the bike we sold with it came with this one that was fully loaded that bike had the blinkers right there on the front all tucked in and just nice and neat um, very very compact machine and very very stable at speeds that's really important for us we don't feel any wobble at a very high speed and you know there was really no comparison over the thousand miles that we had the huck so far this bike just seems to be uh, much less of a thing where you'd worry about rattle. It's silent and there's no play or sway in any of the components, how they fit. And so lastly, that compactness, that sort of form factor, the vintage looks and nostalgia that it brings coupled with the interchangeable parts make the engineering of this bike and just the overall platform night and day so that's really the ecosystem the community the engineering is what separates this product and then it's backed by the ride i mean you can tell the company goes on rides together and they keep improving this product so that i just don't see anybody catching them and i don't see anybody that when they engineer something like this has thought through how will this be supported at the local level onyx has you'll be thrilled if you buy this bike lining it up against the stinger and uh, let us know if you have any questions in the comments signing out take care